Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be reading for March 29th, 2022. We're going to be reading out of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 2, verse 26 through chapter 4, verse 14. Luke 6, 12 through 35. Psalm 63, 1 through 5. And Psalm 91. Whoever hits you on one side of the face, turn so he can hit the other side. Whoever takes your coat, give him your shirt also. Luke 6, 29. Turning the other cheek goes against our human nature. More often than not, we want to fight back. As you face people who offend or hurt you, remember the words of Jesus from the verse above. His greatest desire is for you to live at peace with yourself, and fighting back is a real peace robber. Today, go out of your way to turn the other cheek. What are your reflections on today's Bible reading after we read it? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> what are your top three priorities today? What's on your scheduled to-do list? Write it down so you don't forget. What do you want to remember for today, March 29th, 2022. Um, how are you doing on your water drinking, on your healthy eating, and your exercising? Let's start with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you with humble hearts and humble minds. Holy Spirit, we invite you in to do what only you can do. We desire to be closer to you, Lord, and to learn more about you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for never turning your back on us. Thank you for family. Thank you for your son that died on the cross for our sins. Thank you for health and wealth. We desire to be obedient to you, Lord. Show us your ways. Bless our loved ones, wherever they may be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right. We're going to go to Deuteronomy 2, 26 through 4, 14. Through 4, 14. From the desert of Kedamoth, I sent messengers to Sihon, king of Heshbon, uh, offering peace and saying, let us pass through your country. We will stay on the main road. We will not turn aside to the right or to the left. Sell us food to eat and water to drink for their price in silver. Only let us pass through on foot, as the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir, and the Moabites, who live in Ar, did for us, until we cross the Jordan into the land the Lord our God is giving us. But Sihon, king of Heshbon, refused to let us pass through, for the Lord your God had made his spirit stubborn and his heart obstinate in order to give him into your hands, as he has now done. The Lord said to me, See, I have begun to deliver Sihon and his country over to you. Now begin to conquer and possess his land. When Sihon and all his army came out to meet us in battle at Jahaz, the Lord our God delivered him over to us and struck him down, together with his sons and his whole army. 
<clears throat> At the time, we took all his towns and completely destroyed them, men, women, and children. We left no survivors. But the livestock and the plunder from the towns we had captured, we carried off for ourselves. From Aroror, on the rim of Arnon Gorge, and from the town in the gorge, even as far as Gilead, not one town was too strong for us. The Lord our God gave us all of them, but in accordance with the command of the Lord our God, you did not encroach on any of the land of the Ammonites, neither the land along the course of the Jabbok, nor that around the towns in the hills. Next, we turned and went up along the road toward Bashan, and Og, king of Bashan, with his whole army, marched out to meet us in battle at Edri. The Lord said to me, Do not be afraid of him, for I have handed him over to you with his whole army and his land. <clears throat> Do to him what you did to Sh Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon. So the Lord our God also gave into our hands Og, king of Bashan, and all his army. We struck them down, leaving no survivors. At that time, we took all the, his cities. There was not one of the 60 cities that we did not take from them. The whole region of Argob, Og's kingdom of Bashan, all these cities were fortified with high walls and with gates and bars, and there were also a great many unwalled villages. We completely destroyed them, as we had done with Sahan, king of Heshbon, destroying every city, men, women, and children. But all the livestock and the plunder from their cities we carried off for ourselves. So at the time we took from these two kings of the Amorites, the territory east of the Jordan, from the Arnon Gorge as far as the as Mount Hermon. Hermon is called Sirion by the Sidonians. The Amorites call it Sinir. 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 We took all the towns on the plateau and all Gilead and all Bashan as far as Salica and Idre, Edre, towns of Og's kingdom of Bashan. Only Og, king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephates. His bed was made of iron and was more than 13 feet long and six feet wide. It is still in Rabbah of the Am Ammonites. Of the land that we took over that at that time, I gave the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory north of Aror by the Arnon Gorge, including half the hill country of Gilead together with its towns. The rest of Gilead and also all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to the tribe, half tribe of Manasseh. The whole region of Argob, in Bashan it used to be known as the land of Rephates. Jar, a descendant of Menasseh, took the whole region of Argob as far as the border of Geshurites and the Mekathites. It was named after him so that to this day Bashan is called Havoth Jar. And I gave Gilead to Makur. But to the Reubenites, the Gadites, I gave the territory extending from Gilead down to Arnon Gorge, the middle of the gorge being the border, and out to the Jabbok River, which is the border of the Ammonites. Its western border was the Jordan in the Arabah from Kinnereth to the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, below the slopes of Pisgah. I command you at this time that the Lord your God has given you this land to take possession of it, but all your able-bodied men armed for battle must cross over ahead of your brother Israelites. However, your wives, your children, and your livestock, I know you have 
much livestock may stay in the towns I have given you until the Lord gives rest to your brothers as he has to you. And they too have taken over the land that the Lord has your God is giving them across the Jordan. After that, each of you may go back to the possessions I have given you. At that time, I commanded Joshua, you have seen with your own eyes all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. The Lord will do the same to all the kingdoms over there where you are going. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. At that time, I pleaded with the Lord, O sovereign Lord, you have begun to show to your servant, your greatness and your strong hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth, who can do the deeds and mighty works you do? Let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, the fine hill country and Lebanon. But because of you, the Lord was angry with me and would not listen to me. That is enough, the Lord said. Do not speak to me any more about this matter. Go up to the top of Pisgah and look west and north and south and east. Look at the land with your own eyes since you are not going to cross this Jordan, but commission Joshua and encourage and strengthen him for he will lead this people across and will cause them to inherit the land that you will see. So we stayed in the valley near Beth Peor. Hear now, O Israel, the decrees and laws I am about to reach, teach you. Follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of your Lord, your God, that I give you. You saw with your own eyes what the Lord did at Baal Peor. The Lord your God destroyed from among you everyone who followed the ball of pure, but all of you who held fast to the Lord your God are still alive today. See, I have taught you de decrees and laws as the Lord my God commanded me, so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. Observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations who will hear about all these decrees and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. What other nation is so great as to have their gods near them the way the Lord our God is near us whenever we pray to him? And what other nation is so great as to have such righteous decrees and laws as this body of laws I am setting before you today? Only be, care only be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them slip from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. Remember the day you stood before the Lord your God at Horeb, when he said to me, assemble the people before me to hear my words so that they may learn to revere me as long as they live in the land and may teach them to their children. You came near and stood at the foot of the mountain wall. It blazed with fire to the very heavens with black clouds and deep darkness. Then the Lord spoke to you out of the fire. You heard the sound of the words, but saw no form. There was only a voice. He declared to you his covenant, the Ten Commandments, which he commanded you to follow and then wrote them on two stone tablets. And the Lord directed me at that time to teach you the decrees and laws you are to follow in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. Amen. Deuteronomy 2, verse 26 through 4, verse 14. And we're going to move on to Luke 6, 12 through 35. Luke 6, 12 through 35. Through 35. <clears throat> 35. I'm going to go through 36 because that completes that. Okay. 
Luke 6, verse 12. I'm going to go through 36 because then it, it kind of finishes up that paragraph. And then it goes on to 37, which is talking about criticizing others. So Luke 6, 12 through 36. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also de designated apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there and a great number of people <clears throat> from all over Judea, from Jerusalem. And from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by evil spirits were cured and the people all tried to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Looking at his disciples, he said, blessed are you who are poor for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hung hunger now for you will not be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now for you will laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, because great is your reward in heaven, for that is how their fathers treated the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, <clears throat> for that is how <clears throat> their fathers treated the false prophets. But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If someone strikes you on one cheek, turn to him the other also. If someone takes your cloak, do not stop him from taking your tunic. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment with credit, is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Amen. Psalm 63, 1 through 5. Psalm 63, 1 through 5. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and behold your power and your glory toward your most holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hand have done, hands have done, and spring back upon them what they deserve, since they show no regard for the work of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will tear them down and never build them up again. Amen. That was six, Psalm 63, 1 through 5, Psalm 91. 
He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. That concludes our reading in his word, March 29th, 2022. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you have a blessed day, and go out and be a blessing to others. See you tomorrow.